So today we are working on the front axle on this beast. So yeah, our kingpin bushings are completely shot on the uh, passenger side there. Driver's side still seems okay. We'll probably do them both anyway. Just to be safe, since they're probably the uh, factory originals. You take a breath, I'm talking too fast. So they're probably the originals from 91, um, like two years ago. I posted a uh, video. It was the last time I did work on the uh, front axle and uh, it's a Dana 60 Kingpin axle. I was replacing the axle shaft seals. And you pretty much have to tear the whole thing apart except for the Kingpins. To get to the seals, you gotta take out the carrier and all that crap. So I posted a video about it and oh my gosh. I didn't know if it was different between the ball joint style and the Kingpins, but so many comments. Came here looking for Kingpin stuff and all I got was this idiot with the big head. So, Truck now needs uh, kingpin stuff. So we're doing kingpin stuff. These look so much smaller in the picture. I was like, how's that wimpy piece of plastic hold the front end together? But that's, that thing's freaking huge. I would have gone with the bronze ones, but I'm poor. So I honestly thought about ordering a $4 piece here and just replacing that, but I didn't. Or the whole kit, so we got the new new kingpins, new bushings. Still trying to figure out how I'm gonna get that out of there because that takes a 7 8 Allen key, and I stopped at like five different places today. Not one had it. These springs look so much smaller on the pictures. You know, like the sucker's huge. So, anyways, there's new springs. We got spring retainer pieces, the uh, new lower race lower bearing just one of the seals there one of the other seals here missing one actually this is the the bearing cap i don't know what you call it it's going to be destroyed by the time we get to putting it on the truck never mind it's right there Whew. so yeah people were so upset because i didn't show them how to change this piece you know and this other little rubber piece okay so this is a new experience for me. I've never done this before, so bear with me. We're gonna learn as we go. I'm kinda hoping, there's part of me that thinks I can leave the whole hub and everything together on the knuckle. So take the wheel off, move the caliper, and then do like the kingpin stuff and just kinda take the whole thing off and slide it off the axle. But there's another part of me that just says take it all apart. I have all the tools to do so, so why not? We'll see how it goes. We're, we're going to inch our way into this and see how it, how it goes. So it's a fresh day. Uh, we did not make it near as far yesterday as I was hoping to. Um, we ran into some issues. This bottom kingpin or whatever you'd call it, the uh, seals, or the seal, this one here, I guess was completely shot. And uh, so this P 
pin was frozen into the bottom spindle pretty good and uh, we struggled getting that out for a while we lost daylight so I shut the camera off but um, looks like the grease zerk is broken off the bottom that might help things in the future so I'm gonna see about fixing that so to get this out I the seal actually popped out so I was able to grab it with a pair of dikes and kind of cut it out of there and then we were able to get some penetrating oil in there and uh, heat this sucker up really good heat up the spindle and then uh, I used the air hammer I was able to kind of wiggle it back and forth and you can see I kind of I got aggressive there at the end and uh, so we're gonna have to clean this up a little bit and probably redrill this hole because that's kind of no longer around but um, we were able to kind of work it back and forth and then once it turned a little I was able to hit it from the top right there and drove it straight down the bearing was frozen onto this too so and it also turns out that you do have to remove everything so I gotta take the hubs apart take the spindles off pull the axle out because there's just it's like close but with the you can tilt it out but you just can't lift it up because the axle it gets in the way so we're gonna have to uh, pull it all apart hopefully it's not too hard since everything's just kind of dangling there now and Alright guys, so our big boy tools just showed up. Sure we've had the breaker bar for a few days now, just waiting on that, that little Allen key there. So this is a 40 inch breaker bar with a 7 8 3 quarter drive Allen key on it. Um, so hopefully now we can get those uh, king pins out. Butter. Should have bought one of these a long time ago. Let's try this again. Safe to say they did not want that going anywhere. So, I need to get this put back together. This project has taken far too long as it is. It's been like two weeks. Um, so, you know, it doesn't take two weeks to do this job. It took me two weeks to do this job. And now it's freezing cold out yesterday and today. It's been like low 20s. Right now it's 25. Yesterday it was like 23 and windy. And this is not fun by any means. But 
we got the new kingpin in they are tightened down they're not i didn't use a torque wrench but they're really tight i use a little rock, lead lead rock tight on it and uh our new bearings in the bottom race the bearing cap and the seal is all in there i'm gonna take this tape off so now we're going to go ahead and install the spindle so first these things are actually really simple to work on so don't be scared so this is your upper kingpin seal that is just going to slide onto there like that You can hang your spindle. I'm kind of careful, I guess. Um, I probably should have replaced these, but I'm poor, so I didn't. Um, I honestly didn't even look to see how much these were. But anyways, we didn't. You can see how pitted they are around the base there, and that's kind of where that seal goes on the bottom. So I'm going to take and spread a little RTV silicone around there. I'm going to slide it up in that seal. Before it dries, I'll crank it back and forth a few times. and Hopefully that'll fill in all the voids and uh, things will seal. You know, This whole setup seems kind of hokey to me anyways. Like I just don't get what, like this top cap here, like what keeps the water out. But uh, you're not here for that. Um, the video I watched the guy took and goob this up with RTV down here again there's no gasket there so what keeps the water out but so I'm gonna follow in his footsteps so now a couple screws bolts I mean another thing I found interesting before I put this in there's a hole in the bottom for a grease zerk mine did not have grease zerks in it they had like plugs so I'm not sure why they would Put plugs there but I guess I don't know that's right, so the first thing you're gonna take your your new bushing and uh, grease her up so, so once you grease there's a little nubby there that lines up with the uh, thing thing to do hickey here and then you're gonna take your Spring retainer, do that. Drop your gasket on. So now everything's tightened up. Your knuckle is on. Should feel pretty good and tight. It shouldn't be wobbling around like it used to. So on your spindle here, in the back side, there's a little needle bearing. I honestly don't even know why, but I had spare needle bearings for these in my cabinet. So we replaced those while these were off. They were looking a little used. So we're just going to grease that up real quick. Also going to apply some grease to the back side of this because there's a couple of rubber seals on this axle shaft that seal to this. So we don't want them to burn up and run dry. Plus, if we were to leave this clean, the dirt, dirt wouldn't be able to stick to it. So, you know, you always want dirt sticking to everything. So, grease her up real good. All right, now that arts and crafts is over, we go ahead and put this on. Jiggle it a little, you know, make sure you're in there good. Anything that has to do with holding your wheels on your vehicle, like use a little Loctite. This crap happens. 
I'm not going to point any fingers, but last spring I did some work on the back axle. And uh, a couple months ago I noticed that the axle was leaking. So I got a new o ring to put in that. And uh, when I went to take the bolts out, they were hardly finger tight. So, stuff happens. <laughs> I gotta go put dinner in, otherwise my wife will murder me. Alright, so we are prepping for reassembly. I'm gonna go pack my outer bearing. Uh, we've already gone ahead. That's all assembled. The rear bearing is packed. There's a new seal in it. And you can see we also took the time to replace this brake rotor. This is a great time to do this because everything's gonna be apart. I only replaced one rotor, but I'm doing all four pads. The other rotor is pretty much like brand new still, so I'm really not. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. While we're on the subject, you're probably wondering why, uh, I mean, you might notice that some of this, these parts look really nice. So a few videos back, actually like a, a lot of videos back, when I had the cab off the truck and I was painting the frame and you know, I took the time to like wire wheel parts of the frame and make them look nice and paint them and all that. Um, someone commented and pointed out that uh, I only painted the frame and I didn't do the axles and he doesn't understand why people why anyone would do such a thing it's it looks half done so this one's for you buddy I painted all of these outer parts on the axle I have no plans to paint the rest of it so So these get torqued in two steps you're going to torque her down to 50 foot pounds first kind of spin it as you go if you can this socket sucks get the nice one that has like the piece that comes around there and it makes your life a lot easier okay, so there is 50 foot pounds and we're gonna take him back it off there's two different torque specs here if you have automatic hubs the internet says 35 foot pounds we've got manual hubs it says 50 so we're just gonna torque it back down to 50 foot pounds take our lock ring and try to line it up with a spot on the with that pin All right. now we're cooking with peanut oil so now we're gonna put our lock nut on this gets off also gets torqued to 50 foot, foot pounds And grease up our hub. Never have too much of this goo. I guess we did wrap up the king pins. Got the brakes back on. And uh, wheels bolted up. 
So that is a wrap on this job. Looks really nice, I guess. As good as it's gonna get. Um, that was a really simple job. Uh, I took it for a uh, test drive this morning. She took it to work today. Which I'm sure my neighbors loved me pulling out of here at 4.30 on a Saturday morning, but yeah, real simple job. Anyone can do it. You just gotta have the right tools. I think that 40 inch breaker bar and 7 8 Allen key is a must. Without that, you're gonna be struggling. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, uh, feel free to hit that like button. It's free. If you really like the video, uh, go ahead and subscribe. That'd be cool. Let's be friends.